Hello, Justin here from Tin Man Electronics. What I'd like to talk about this week is what I got in the mail. This is very special because to engineers and hobbyists alike, we get very excited when we get stuff in the mail. It's like Christmas time all over again. So what I got has to do with the project that I've been working on before I started filming YouTube videos. So. Uh, actually, I've been getting quite a few things in the mail recently because I've been designing a quadcopter. So, one of the first things I got is my little AVR ISP programmer. I can't see what's on the camera right now, but I hope uh, the autofocus kind of gets that. This is the AVR ISP Mark II programmer. It's for programming uh, AT Mega chips, Atmel chips, uh, AT Tiny chips, ATX Mega chips. Basically, most of their microcontrollers. Uh, so hopefully this will come in useful in future projects as well, not just the quadcopter, but because I chose an Atmel chip as my uh, the brains for my project, that is the programmer I would be using. Cheap and uh, hopefully effective. Now another thing I got was uh, a couple of XRF wireless modules by Siseco. I'll probably talk about these more in detail, maybe in another video or in this video, but we'll check it out. They get some pretty damn good range because of their uh, slightly lower uh, frequency uh, or modulating frequency of about uh, 868 megahertz. So uh, yeah, I'll talk about that. And But finally, the most exciting part of my whole project up to date because this is the one of the things I've been designing is the circuit itself the circuit board I got the PCBs so I got them from Osh Park they deal in uh, pretty cheap PCBs very good quality you could get silk screen on both sides <clears throat> where you could get your image you could get your face on the PCB which I have done uh, hopefully they turned out well I'm crossing my fingers sticking my tongue out in the right angle but uh, I'll be opening this for you guys shortly all right so uh, I guess we might as well start with the PCB so I could kind of move on to the other parts of the circuit and kind of show how they relate to this but uh, let's open this up I checked this out I think it's got a pull tab right here well maybe a half ass pull tab yeah that was definitely a pull tab but when you open it up for pretty cheap, you get a sticker. Check that out. I've already got one on my uh, my engineering journal. Actually, I'll just grab it. I kind of keep my notes in my engineering journal, and uh, I, I've just put a couple of uh, cool stickers. I got this one from uh, HSC, but yeah, no, I know I get some cool uh, drawings in there because it's not a it's not an engineering book if you don't have sick drawings. But what I really paid for are these PCBs. Now let's take a look at one individually. Oh yeah, individually here. Look at the quality of that. Okay, the autofocus is kind of choking up, but look at that. That's my face. That is the Tin Man Electronics logo. If it can autofocus, I drilled out some holes or I got uh, holes drilled out so that I could mount it on my quadcopter. Uh, notice the irregular shape so that it only goes on one way onto my quadcopter. Probably not that big of a deal since it'll probably be a single a single instance of quadcopter, but uh, uh, just say you were engineering that for mass production, you would probably want uh, idiot proof kind of stuff. So down here, right there, I've got the Atmega uh, uh, ATX Mega A uh, 32C4 and that is the microcontroller of my chip. I got a couple of caps that are going to go around it. I don't have all the passives and the parts um, for this board as of yet. I do have the BOM and I'm going to be placing an order soon but uh, I've got the XRF wireless module that goes here. Um, my friend has the uh, the SparkFun accelerometer unit that I'll put right here, and then the programmer connects down here. So uh, let's just check this out. So here's the programmer that I showed you guys earlier. It has two connectors on it. Why? Because uh, Atmel uses a couple of different schemes for 
their programming methods. So they've got uh, they've got SPI, PDI, and TPI. Now ATX Mega uses PDI, and AT Tiny uses TPI, and AT Mega chips, uh, which most of you guys are familiar with. Uh, for Arduino users and stuff, use I think SPI or ICSP. I'm not even sure because I'm not that familiar with the chips myself. Hopefully, I will soon though. But this is going to be programmed by the PDI interface. That's at Talk. So it's gonna, just going to connect right there to some headers. It's going to be real nice. Uh, now let's crack open these XRF modules because I have had these for a week and I'm itching to get them out so check that out it's got a uh, built on little whip antenna XRF module Siseco check them out because it is a very simple interface so they say hook up two pins I think it's just straight up UART or serial to this guy and you are good to go. It will transmit through mid air and you will receive it on another Siseco module and go back to two wires. That is pretty good. Um, they've got, they come uh, programmed with more pins though that you could use for flow control or whatever. Uh, it's basically just a TI microcontroller on a board optimized for uh, outputting your radio frequencies and stuff but uh, check that out come on there you go the TI CC style or whatever microcontroller I didn't do too much research they did the job of making this beautiful FM trans uh, transceiver and I'm gonna be using it put it to the ultimate test actually will it mate with my uh, with my board and actually, you could see there's a hole underneath the module. Hopefully, if I, I'll get screws that will fit underneath everything. So uh, I did my research correctly because <laughs> it uh, it fits. It fits. I seriously got to fix up this autofocus. But yeah, it fits. Yeah. So that's nice. It's just gonna kind of sit there. My face. The image of my face is still exposed that's all that matters that's good so this is what I have been excited about hopefully I could show you guys some more detail without the autofocus killing me here but uh, check it out I, I, I did my best at engineering this guy properly I've got the board layers marked out on silk screen flight controller board tin man electronics the date my engineering signature or engineering uh, uh, initials the copper top bore uh, the copper top layer has its own indicator and uh, I don't know like seriously it's just I don't know what else to say about the engineering of this I'll put it together when I get the parts and make another video down here I've got four PWM connectors that will be going to my uh, uh, motors so uh, yeah everything here is pending I mean like I do not know if anything is gonna connect but with my uh, engineering knowledge I could only expect it will and all the research I've done I, I worked uh, quite a few hours I think like two days on this and uh, I got them ordered hopefully they turn out good BAM so I don't have much to say in this episode, but I do have some hardware. I had my PCB, I had my programmer, and my wireless modules. Now I gotta get some parts. I'm gonna have to get some brushless motors. I'm gonna have to get a battery. I'm gonna have to design a chassis, choose what kind of material it is. This is all engineering stuff. So, if you are interested in a quadcopter, that's a helicopter with four propellers, stay tuned. Like my video, subscribe if you're interested. You will be notified when my videos come out. And uh, my name is Justin from Tin Man Electronics. That's engineering. That's that's all I got. There you go. That's it. That's done.